Hey, what's going on guys? It's Haz here. Today I wanted to make an easy to follow guide on everything I do in Kingdom Guard on a day to day basis to help maximize my growth as a free to play player. Everything I mentioned in this video is my opinion and based on what I think is best after my one and a half years of playing Kingdom Guard. First things first, once I log in each day, I head to the Dimensional Treasure and return any troops collecting in the normal Mithril that haven't already returned. I then replace these troops back into the normal Mithril to keep passively collecting Mithril. After that, I head over to the Rewards tab and claim all the Milestone rewards that I've collected while offline. After collecting our rewards, I'm off to the Daily Store where I pick up the Dragon Ruins, Tech Shards, Forge Hammers and Light Reagent in the Daily Store. In the weekly, I'll pick up the SSR free picks, Dragon Ruins, Forge Hammers, and Light Reagent. Since our dragon has no max level, this is a good investment long term. SSR heroes are released constantly, so you can never have too many, and grabbing them when you can is a good idea. I'll be picking up the Forge Hammers and Light Reagent until I'm maxed, as they take a fair while to max as they are. I'm saving the rest of my Mithril for talent books and crowns to get some high points in Mighty Kingdom or Ultimate Power. Best left in the bank as you never know when something new will be released. Right after the Dimensional Tunnel, I'll pop over to the Bounty Hall and complete all acquiring my rewards. I'll then spin my bounties until they're all gold rarity and keep spinning till they are crowns, dragon ruins or SSR heroes. I then use 1k gems to double all the rewards. Quite a tedious task, as you can see I've skipped over a couple of the rewards I would have taken due to being impatient, so take your time. Next up, I'm off to the Alliance tab, straight into gifts and claiming all the normal and rare gifts along with the Alliance chests for even more gems. Make sure to claim your rare gifts daily as they expire every 24 hours. Quickly I'll pop into the help tab and assist anyone requiring help. After that, I'll donate to the Alliance tech getting Alliance Silver and helping complete daily quests. And when in Broken Land, that will also help complete Legion quests. Jumping into the Alliance Store, in the Daily tab, I'll buy the Desert Castle one day to get the Platinum Coupons in the Exchange Store, all the gold to max my alts tech trees, Hero Recruitment Cards, Alliance Teleports, the Free Herald, Rare Dragon Ruins, and the Tier 1 and 2 Unit EXP books. In the weekly, I'll be buying the Tech Shards, Alliance Teleports, Dragon Ruins, Free Picks, and just before the Throne War, I'll put the remainder of my silver into Unit EXP books. Just a foolproof way to make sure I always have enough silver for my dailies. Off to the Alliance quests, I'll check what ones need completing. After that, I'll head over to the Milestones tab and claim all the rewards there. Make sure you always reset your Alliance quest to gold at the start of each week to obtain the most Platinum Coupons and Unit EXP books. Onto the Lava Cave, we jump straight in and use all our move and attack points efficiently. Attacking the 2 HP bar monster will grant 4 damage to the Lava Hucker when killed, and attacking the 5 HP Hucker will grant 15 damage to the Lava Hucker when killed. Make sure to use your move points effectively to free up a monster or Hucker to kill for more damage to the Lava Hucker. After attacking, I will collect all stage rewards, which is a big bonus and is why it's so important to get through as many stages as your alliance can to improve growth. In the territory tab, I'll quickly jump in and collect my gold. I usually only do this after each broken land, but for the sake of anyone new, do this to help grow more efficiently. I'll now go to the gold mine tab and collect all. Make sure this is done at least once every 72 hours so you don't lose any offline gains. Every time I'm on the homepage, I'll collect the Dragon's Gift at the top right for free rare Dragon Ruins. I'll then jump over and collect my VIP chest for more resources each day. Next up, I'll claim my free reward in the Value Pack event. Make sure this is done daily so you can get the 6 point reward at the end of each week for free. Now I'll see what events are running and try to complete them if I see value in doing them. At the moment you can see the discount store is running and for me personally these take too much time and too many resources for me to complete on all accounts on a daily basis. So if any of these get done in the meantime while I play I just see it as a bonus but if there's a seasonal event on or an event such as the dragon event that has just happened I will complete all of the daily quests in them as they are highly rewarding. While we're on events, I'll quickly cover Mighty Kingdom. If you are participating in this, you want to make sure you use the right resources on the right day, so all the points are counted. Check what phase is running and click the little question mark to see what items give what points for that day. 
Mighty Kingdom is giving us some crazy rewards right now, so if you have a stash pile of resources, now would be a good time to use them. On to the Lava Trial. By beating monsters, you will gain points. After reaching 100 points, you can summon a Hucker Behemoth. Killing this will reward you with a free pick. Just another thing I check daily to see if I have any for some more free rewards. Evil Spirits has just finished up, so I can jump in and claim all these rewards. Make sure you do this after every Evil Spirits. Same for the Join Rally event, or hop in and claim any rewards my Auto Rally has completed while I was offline. Now for a cheeky little plug, if you haven't filled in your friends code, feel free to use mine so you can help me out in getting some more rewards. Cheers. Back on the home screen, my Dragon King's Gift is ready to claim again, so I'll grab that and then I'll move on to daily challenges. Each day I put effort in to finish these as they give quite good rewards for little effort. I'll claim any that are already completed and quickly finish some easy ones off such as requesting help. While we're on this, you can request help for gold, stone, wood and steel for even more resources. It isn't heaps, but everything helps with the grind. I'll now jump into my mail and claim all. You can see I got 10 free platinum coupons from the devs for some upcoming changes. Cheers for that. I'll go through and read all my mails. I won't do it here as I've read them all on my other account, but they usually have some useful information on what's happening in your alliance for events and such, so stay up to date on those. You can see how many my alliance send out, they really go crazy in keeping us up to date. On to using my AP or energy. When I'm not in the broken land, I solely focus on the Jennifer station to pump out those levels, which gives some nice rewards for growing quickly and ticking off that Jennifer station to max, as it takes ages to do. During the broken land, I'll farm dark priests until the frost trial is open. Once it's open, I'll only do frosts until I can't go any higher, then straight back to farming dark priests for scrolls. Rinse and repeat. Just another little tip, make sure you use your free 50 energy per day for extra farming. I'll save all my AP potions for any AP events such as the beginning of Broken Land for the power boost or any AP events that may come up in the future. And just another little tip, if you're stuck for time in a day, just use all 5 marches or 4 or 3 or whatever you have on farming even if you don't have AP saving heroes for them. Better to use all your energy than let it all go to waste. Here I'm completing three daily challenges super quickly. Auto merge, train 100 units, and merge 50 units. Simply turn on three times speed and auto merge and spam train heroes and delete once your screen is full. Rinse and repeat until you have three notifications in your challenge tab. Jumping over to the Alliance Treasure, if you plan on spending anything, this is a great time to do so. 199 can get you all the rewards if your Alliance spends enough to reach the end goal. I don't usually spend and already have good enough Dragon Armor, so I won't be participating in this, but I thought I'd cover it quickly anyway. Quickly covering the VIP store now, as I forgot to earlier. Each week this resets, and every week I'll buy the AP, Alliance Teleports, and Teleports. If I were any higher VIP level, I would be getting the same as mentioned previously, as well as the Dragon Ruins. Coming to the Wishing Crystal Bowl event, my favourite event in the game. I suggest anyone playing save all their gems for this, other than spendings on the Bounty Hall, Seasonal Vents, and VIP Store. You can spin it 100 times per day and get around 150 SSR heroes for 90,000 gems, along with other rewards. I'll quickly claim my theme pack for 20 daily gems, and claim my bank deposit gems, and redeposit the 2,000 gems for interest on them. After that, I'll jump over it and claim my Elite Monthly card. Now I'll just give you guys a quick time lapse of me doing a little bit more farming on the Jennifer station and claiming a few more rewards. And yeah, that's just about it for today's video. I just wanted to give a quick rundown of what I do on a daily basis on each account. So I do that on three accounts every day pretty much. Well, I try to anyway. And yeah, I hope you found this informative and helpful. And yeah, have a good one. Cheers.